A really puzzling question that surgeons and I actually deal with when we're meeting a patient who's been diagnosed with metastatic kidney cancer, and I'm referring to a specific serin area where the kidney tumor is still intact, is whether or not to go ahead and remove that kidney tumor. One might say the cat's already out of the bag. The kidney cancer is spread to the lungs, to the bones, and other sites. What's the point in actually removing that primary tumor, the tumor that's localized within the kidney? We actually knew the answer to this question back when immune-based therapies were the only treatment options that we had for kidney cancer. This was back in the 1990s. And we had several studies done that really demonstrated that in the context of those immune-based therapies, there was a survival benefit that was associated with removing the kidney itself. Now, the same data doesn't exist in the newer therapies that we use for kidney cancer, the so-called targeted agents. When patients come to my clinic, I therefore really have to be quite personalized in whether or not I recommend removal of the kidney, keeping in mind that down the line they'll probably receive one of these so-called targeted therapies as their first or second line of treatment for kidney cancer. There are a couple of scenarios where I will undoubtedly suggest removal of the kidney, and those specific scenarios are where we have uncontrollable bleeding from the kidney mass, in addition to that, I would also recommend removal of the kidney when we have uncontrollable pain as a consequence of the kidney mass. If the patient isn't facing those symptoms, then I have to be somewhat subjective in terms of whether or not to recommend removal of the kidney. I'll oftentimes use features and characteristics such as the perceived aggressiveness of the tumor. If a patient seems to have developed symptoms within a span of a month or two, that might be a patient where we don't have time to really remove the kidney and wait the four to six weeks that's typically recommended before starting a targeted therapy. On the other hand, if a patient seems to be having a more indolent course, if their symptoms came on gradually over the course of years, that might be a scenario where we actually do have the time to take four to six weeks to remove the kidney and allow for an appropriate period of recovery before starting targeted agents. There are two trials that are ongoing right now, and both of these studies are ongoing in Europe. One is the so-called Carmina study. This study is being conducted in France, and this study will really address the question of whether or not removal of the kidney is necessary when you already have metastatic disease, and this is specifically in the context of targeted therapies. Another study is being run by a European group called the European Organization for the Research and Treatment of Cancer, the EORTC, and this study has a very similar aim. So I'd encourage you to be on the lookout, and certainly I'd like to come back to you and discuss the results of those studies as they mature um, to define whether or not surgery might have a role in that particular setting.